Hey everybody, what's up? Movie Cranks back with a kind of a special movie tonight. We weren't expecting this one. Uh, seen some reviews on it, and it's called Haunt. And the Haunt is basically you have some young adults who go out to party one night yeah, and decide that after this they're gonna go to a haunted house. And they go up some roads. They're looking for some haunted houses, and then they find one. And what do you think, Mike, when they find this one? I, 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 I like the idea. Let me start off by saying before I get onto some other stuff, but I like the idea. The haunted house thing. I haven't seen one in a while. You know, Saw always did it. Saw. Yeah, uh, you had Escape Room, there. which I didn't see. You did. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I kind of enjoyed the original Saw movies, the ones that really got. You know, twisted and demented and bloody and gory. And this one? I'd say it fit that bill. Yeah. I'd say I, I it thought, was bloody and gory and fun in all the right places. I thought to myself while I was watching this, I haven't seen a slasher film in a while. A little bit. This is also a VOD film. And in my personal opinion, it's probably one of the better VOD horror movies you're going to get right now. Yeah. I was surprised. I mean, they call it a horror thriller. It's an hour and 30 minutes. It's rated R for good reason. This is not a movie for squeamish people. <laughs> there's, uh, I guess there's a lot of good we can say about it, which is unusual. Me and you yeah. weren't expecting it. And, and we weren't expecting it, and it didn't start off like that either. No. It started off, they're kind of introducing the characters. It reminded me it was Halloween like 15 minutes ago, so I just rolled out of bed and grabbed my lucky bag. kind of hate these things. Yeah, well, at least you have a costume. What are you talking about? You have a costume, if, if you don't mind. You can do that. And boom, look. A little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Bullshit! We're kind of like, yeah, this guy. I don't like him. I hope they kill him. But for me, throughout they wear the on movie, you. though, they do wear on you. It's almost kind of, and I don't want to, I ain't going to put this on that level of Stranger Things or anything like that. No, they're not but that high quality. It's kind of like how Steve and Stranger Things worked on me. Yeah. Made me like them. Some of these guys do too. They, they pulled on the right strings at the right yeah. time. They made them seem vulnerable in this haunted maze of insanity and knives and crap. Uh, they made them somewhat likable. And the acting was passing. That's the best I can yes. give. The it, acting's passing. Passing. But if we're really being honest, as far as which way these characters die, how they die, if they die, if they don't die, I didn't really care. It really care. didn't matter. You know, this is just a, a slasher film. Yeah. I mean, me and you have seen our share of gory R-rated movies. Yeah. They, some of them have this ability to tie you into a character. Yeah. And you really pull for them, even if they get killed. It's brutal, and it's it hurts. This, you're right. Couldn't cared less. Girl A, or girl B, or girl C could have perished, and I wouldn't have cared because they just didn't. There was no backstory. I mean, there was just little story about a, the one of the main characters, uh, Katie Stevens, who plays Harper. She had this abusive boyfriend background. And that was like throughout the whole movie. I mean, it was like I didn't really, following them. I didn't really feel it through the whole movie. I, I know it starts off like that. Yeah. That's part of her character building. As far as the whole movie, I do feel it towards the end. Mm-hmm. Which, so if I'm saying again, same, same again with as far as caring about who dies right. at any given time. The boy, he was real low on anybody, that You know, yeah. It the abusive matter. boyfriend was about and they right. Kind of, yeah, they, exactly. <laughs> and they they brought him at the end. At the end, like they're supposed to make us feel something yeah. there. And I'm like, uh, I was kind of hoping he was going to come in. The abusive boyfriend. It sounds weird because that's I what he is. I wanted that too. But I almost was wanting him to come in, be like some like military genius or like some freaking taekwondo expert, and come yeah. in and just whoop and ass. just start killing these hillbillies <laughs> i mean that'd have been amazing yeah that would that, that would have took a weird turn and i would have liked it but i still like what we got too with all the good uh you had the good scares you had some really brutal killings uh with sledgehammers and nails and just things that would bother you when you look at the movie as a whole it was fun entertaining the only thing that got in the way was some of the acting some of the characters, there was no development, not much. 
Um, you did like them because they were in the situation they were, but the problem is the writing didn't help either. Yeah. They, the, the dialogue was just basic, like college level maybe or high school level writing. Small. Uh, round. <laughs> Sounds like you're describing Evan Scrotum. I don't think that makes sense since we have a great. <laughs> it just it just didn't seem I don't know, it just wasn't there for me. For me that. for me I think my brain still lives on that college level when it comes to horror movies. <laughs> Cause I kinda enjoyed some of the dialogue. I thought some funny parts were said. I thought some of the actors were actually pretty good. Um I would say as far as being scared, it is a lot of jump scares. It's a, it's mostly jump scares. <laughs> but there is a couple good yeah. things, parts in there, where they actually developed characters of some of the actual... Bad guys, you could bad say. Bad guys. Yeah, the, the, this group the crazy of people, people that run the haunted house. Yeah. Holy shit, is she bleeding? Angela, what happened to your hand? Uh, we gotta get her out. Yeah, what the fuck's it look like I'm doing? I have keys, man. I'm sorry, girls. This, this isn't supposed to happen. You know, while we were watching this, we actually said it back and forth a few times. We were just kind of like, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, it was just out it of It does blue. throw yeah. some things at you that you're not expecting. Yeah, I mean, the moment you're expecting one character to be okay, suddenly they're not. Uh, some of the traps that were, like, being laid out didn't work. <laughs> so it was like, it just, you didn't know what was going to happen next, which was cool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to say, though, there's a, a beginning part here where they go into the haunted house. They see something happen. Then they go into the haunted house, like deeper, like actually going in. Right. This is like a preview of the haunted house, and now you're going to go in. And it all comes full circle back around back to that, to that same moment. Yep. With just different things happening. And I was like, you know what? At that point, I go, I think I'm probably going to like this. Well... And because they had a limited budget, they had to keep it condensed and yeah. controlled, and they had to keep it in a small area. And it's using a haunted small. house is perfect for a small yeah. budget. I mean, yeah. they didn't really have anything insane set up. There's not a lot of CGI or anything else. It was just all practical stuff: fire, blood, nails, and you know, <laughs> shootings. It's just like some of the stuff I grew up. It's with. a good. It's a decent slasher. Yeah, um, it wasn't great. They could have made it. Amazing with some really crazy I think chase they, scenes and I, running and honestly I think if they would have had some talent behind this yeah the story personally to me I think the writing was actually pretty good because to me the story just moves nice and fluid I think if they would have some talent like some good actors some good cinematographers and these cinematographers aren't really that bad I ain't gonna say that no it actually it's there's no well. there's no there's a few times a shaky, shaky cam, cam a few times yeah. but. Up until that point, there really wasn't a lot. It, it, it was, was pretty good. so dark, and they were doing a haunted house. And to the testament of these cameras they used and the way they filmed it, it looked really good for being yeah. in a black, pitch black haunted house. I yeah. mean, and done for a low budget. You can see DOD. everything that's going on. What they don't want you to see, you can see like outlines of a face. Yeah. It is kind of spooky. They had some decent like music that would pop up during scary scenes, things like that as well. I mean, they did a pretty good job with what they had to work with. Yeah, that's what I think too. But let's just try to finish this up quick. Yep. And what do you score this one? Um, for Halloween, which doesn't feel like that because it's still in the mid hundreds. Um. We're going into that season, and I was hoping to start things off with a good Halloween movie. I think this one's worth it. I think people need to to chill, sit back, and watch this on video on demand and streaming. And you know what? I think I think it'd be enjoyable. Not for kids. Don't <laughs> don't worry about that. So um, I would have to say probably this for me would get a C. Yep. It's to me, it's just purely average. Yeah. To me, if you're looking for a decent Halloween flick, it is that season, and there really isn't a lot of Halloween movies coming out not to the brand big new screen ones, not yet. this yeah. year. I haven't seen hardly any any yeah. trailers recently for Halloween movies, and to me, this one was pretty good. I, I thought the acting was decent, not great. I thought the writing was good. Mm -hmm. I thought some of the direction could have been a little better. I think overall, for a VOD movie, it's definitely worth 
a few bucks to pay for if you want to watch it. Yeah, I think it's like six dollars on yeah. YouTube and a couple of providers. Yeah, I mean it's not too bad, and it'll give you some entertainment, especially if you like slasher films. If you don't like slasher films, wouldn't recommend it. If you like scary movies, some slasher in there, I think you'll like it. I mean, the way I can say it is, if you like some of the Rob Zombie stuff, because that's I did feel a lot of that in here. Yeah, I did have a little bit of that, too. I think if you like the Rob Zombie stuff, yeah. you're going to like this one. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one, I must say, B-. minus. There is times I actually really enjoyed it, and there's times I was just like, eh, it's okay. It was half and half. That's why yeah. I gave it a C. But yeah, you're right, because you did seem to enjoy that a little bit more than I did. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, that's about all we got for now. So don't forget... I also am going to be putting out another review for The Island. Yep. We got The Dark Crystal coming up next. Yep. That's what we're going to be doing. But until next time, guys, I think that's all we got for this one. That's so it. We'll see you. All right. Peace.